If you want to have a little bit more fun, a little more flow, uh, stimulate the mind. We are starting with a very wide second and we're doing a little lunge. My knee is tracking in the same line as my foot. My tail is gently under. My belly is pulled in. And I'm just going back and forth and I'm working those glutes. Now I'm gonna rotate my spine with the knee bend. So we're gonna work on some diagonal movement or with the spine rotated to the side we're lunging to. And then keep that spinal rotation and just lunge back without removing the spine. Let's go to the other side. We're gonna to rotate towards the front leg. So now it becomes front leg, back leg. And we're keeping that trunk rotated in one direction. Now we're gonna take an arm up. We're gonna to rotate towards one side. We're gonna reach. Now we're going to bend that back knee as we already did earlier. Now we're gonna dr draw the tail under. We're gonna release the head and neck. We're gonna circle the arm up, lengthen up, reach out back to that lunge, bend the back knee. So it's lunging to the other side, draw the tail under slightly, relax the upper body, soften the breastbone, circle the arm. Second side, up. So now I'm going to bend the other leg. We're going to rotate towards that side. Now I'm going to allow that back knee to bend. I'm going to let the upper body drop, let the head go. Reach that arm as it circles up and over. So these are quite complicated, but all these components you will learn as you practice. Let's do another little flow over, pull it down. Circle it. So you can see you can increase the intensity of the motion or increase the range. One more up, over. Draw the tail under, bend the back knee. So if you find this complicated, it's because it is. But hopefully, in an eccentrics class, you will be taken through various steps that will allow you to put all the pieces together. If you want to have a little bit more fun, a little more flow, uh, stimulate the mind,